wanting to have an alternative to industrial agriculture, it's political. And I think there maybe was a hope among some somewhere in the 1980s or early 90s, I don't know where, <laughs> is that this transition to something more agroecological or organic could happen in a way that didn't cause too much friction, where people could just make their choice at the supermarket and support farmers who were farming that way and, and usher in a, a kinder, gentler agriculture in that way. Um, and then, as you said, um, as there were more and more consumers interested in buying something that said organic, then there were more and more companies <laughs> interested in having a product that said organic. Um, and I credit the organic movement with, with being the only alternative agricultural term I know that established some very clear legal definitions of where that red line was and said, you know, there's certain chemicals you absolutely cannot use on a farm and then call your product organic. Um, and so I think of all of these terms that have been developed through a movement and then articulated through the marketplace, organic is the one that has the most integrity in that sense, because there is a legal standard backing up one really key portion of it, which is that harmful toxic chemicals are not going to be used on these farms.